So here's one method of making a CC3 plus body that exactly matches a metahuman body so that it works really well with Live Link. And the first thing you need to do is import one of the dummies. So you need to get the metahuman Live Link kit from Realusion and then import one of the dummies. This is a humanoid body, so it's not CC3 plus. Therefore, I can't do what I want to do with it. So I'm going to put it into a T pose. And then just go File, Export, Export FBX. I'm going to do it as a Maya file current frame and just go Export. And then, I mean, you can do this in any program you like. I'm going to do it in Maya. I'm just going to import that FBX and then just select the mesh and go Export Selection. And inside Character Creator, I'm going to open up a CC4 character. So I'm going to choose a female character. For some reason, I'm not seeing Susan in here, which would have been the best option. And now I'm going to change this to be a T-pose. Then I'm going to import that mesh. And it's going to ask me if I want it to be a character or a prop. And I just want a prop. By default, the dummy body is slightly off the ground because of the foot contact settings. But I'll go through how to fix that a bit later. But for now, I'm just going to move the dummy body down so it matches. Okay. So now what we need to do is change the proportions of our CC4 character to match that mesh. I'm going to select the dummy body and move it across, then select the CC4 body and click on proportion. So I'm going to select the CC4 body, go and choose proportion, and I'm going to change the bone type to full body. And the first thing I'm going to do is change it to 92. What I'm looking for is a value that gives me an approximation. That looks about right. Now, it's very difficult because it's not an exact science. It should be, but it's not. So let's go with that. And what I'm then going to do is select the dummy body and overlay them. And that's looking pretty much right. But that looks about right. Now, obviously the head is a different size. And that really doesn't matter that much. Um, if I want to, I could just go in here, click on the morph and increase the head scale to, I don't know, 300 or something. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. All right, so I can save this character creator project if I want to come back and make changes to it. So I'm going to go save project as, and then I'm going to select Camilla and I'm going to call this character. So now I've got an empty project now in iClone and I'm just going to send that across. Now what I'm going to do is import the dummy Make sure the CC4 body is not selected. To file, import, import, female short underweight. Okay, great. So in the timeline, I'm going to select Camilla. And I'm going to just delete that clip and delete that clip. And that's just going to zero them both out properly and have them match. And now what you can do is really see whether this works. Because if you add something where the hands are interacting with something. So let's go with, select the other character. Okay, so now we can see any discrepancies. And what you're gonna notice is there is sort of a, a hidden offset. So the dummy is raised slightly. So I need to look into floor contacts and then match it. And then I'm gonna go back to my previous project. So this Camilla, let's look at her floor contacts, approximately two off. I'm just going to go with that. Yep, that's it. It is two. So now we can add an animation to both of these. And in theory, they should match. Yeah, and that's pretty close. All right, so that's one way of matching them.